Hello everyone, this is Srividya. Today's session I am going to talk about strings in C program. So, in, this is the overview of the session. Introduction to strings, declaration and initialization of a string, difference between scanf and getS. So what is a string? String is a set of characters that are enclosed in double quotes. So anything that is enclosed in double quotes that is considered as a string. So how to declare the string, how to initialize the string, how to access the strings we will see in this session. Strings are created using one dimensional array of character data type. So we can call it as array of characters also. Every string in C programming language is enclosed in double quotes and it is terminated with a null character. Whenever a C compiler encounters a string value, it automatically appends a null character at the end. Suppose this is your output screen. So just imagine this is your console. Enter a string. If a prompt message was displayed like this or in the command prompt, you are checking for the output. Enter a string. So it is asking user to enter some string. Suppose if I enter here like this, this is how we will do, enter a string means immediately we will type some characters. So, but how compiler will interpret or consider this one? Imagine this is your, uh, this is your output screen and this is your memory. So, I am entering here suppose C. So, it is array of characters. So, it is one dimensional array, continuous memory will be allocated. So, C, it will substitute C, yes, yes, E, E. So, I am a user, I am entering these characters from through keyboard, C, S, E. So, after doing, coming here, so what we will do, we will just press the enter key. So, immediately, whatever we have given, that output will be appeared on your screen. So, here immediately, after entering the character, so it, all the characters will be loaded into your memory. So, whenever you press the enter, so, it will be ended with the null character. Obviously, when a compiler encounters a string value, it is automatically appends a null character at the end. So, null character will be substituted by the compiler at the end. So, the formal definition of the string is, string is a set of characters enclosed in double quotation marks. In C programming, the string is a character array of single dimension because it is Array of characters or character array. Array means it is we are doing uh, it is one dimensional array. One dimensional array means all the data is in the linear form. So in C programming language, there are two methods to create the strings using one dimensional array and using a pointer array of character data type. So by dynamic memory allocation also you can declare your string. So creating strings in C programming language. So how to declare a string? So first syntax. So, normal syntax for array, suppose if I told, ask you to write a declaration of a declaration of an array, how you will write the declaration of an array, syntax of declaring an array. So, data type, array name and size. So, like this, we will write the declaration of the array, 1D array, declaration of 1D array. So, after converting this to the example, so if I want to convert the same to an example, data type int array name a size 5. So, I want to store 5 integer values of type integers or students of 5 row numbers under type integers. So, like this you will do or if I want to store floating values, float So, I want to store 10 floating point, 10 values of type float. So, like that you will do. But how to, if I ask you to declare your name or uh, declare a string, how to declare a string? So, you can't, uh, string means array of characters. So, means um, either it may be a name or something. So, can we use a data type integer or float for to declare a string? You, you can't use. And we can't use this also because string is not a data type in C programming language. So, we have to use character data type only. Okay. So, the syntax of string is char string name size. 
साइज कैर एग्जाम्पल सो दिस इज द डिक्लेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग कैर स्ट्रिंग नेम साइज एग्जाम्पल कैर एनी नेम यू कैन टेक हई आर आई एम टेकिंग एस टी आर ऑफ सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू स्टोर ओनली फाइव कैरेक्टर्स एस टी आर ऑफ फाइव दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल सो दिस इज द डिक्लेशन एंड दिस वन इज द एग्जाम्पल सो वी हैव टू यूज द कैरेक्टर डेटा टाइप ओनली सो आर स्ट्रिंग नेम ऑफ साइज एंड दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल Suppose so, which type of memory allocation is this? That comes under static memory allocation. If I want to convert the same thing to dynamic memory allocation, we have the functions of DMA, malloc and cloc. So, you want to allocate the memory dynamically, you can use dynamic memory allocation. Any function malloc or cloc, and you can allocate on the memory. So, take a pointer variable, char pointer malloc of n into size of char this is how you will allocate the memory dynamically n is the number of characters you want to store suppose if i want to store only 5 characters n is the number of characters suppose if i want to store only 5 characters so it is 5 into size of char is what size of character is only 1 byte so 5 into 1 so in the memory 5 bytes will be allocated to store the four characters like this this is also a string so half to uh, what will be the size and what will be the length of the string suppose take the same example so this is your memory characters and i'm storing this characters so one null character and the name of the string let us consider as s1 because the string is also an array of characters it is also having the base address it takes one byte so the next location will be so like this so s1 is a variable which contains this base address the first byte address okay so here string terminates with a null character so here the length of the string what is the length of the string and what is the size of the string the length of the string here here how many characters we have taken a e i o u or the characters so length of the string is 1 2 3 4 5 length of the string is 5 and size of the string is size size of the string is number of size of the string is number of characters plus one null character means length of the string is total number of characters that you have assigned size of the string will be number of characters plus one null character means six here in this case so how to assign a string declaration we have seen so string is not a data type so we have to use the character data type only and it is an array of characters so obviously just like one day array declaration you have to declare the string how to initialize the string so here also we have we can use compile time initialization or run time initialization anything you can do so this is what example assigning string value in the c programming string value is assigned using the following two methods at at the time of declaration and after declaration so example of assigning we will see hash include stdio.h char str1 we have taken the name of the string and size so this is the name of the string and this is the size of the string is equals to hello the name of the string here it is hello this is how you can initialize the string and the second case is also correct char str2 of 10 so here it was not mentioned the value that's okay this this is also correct here i have taken this one as the example so even though the size is not mentioned the compiler will substitute based on these characters the size it can consider and check so here the number of characters are 3 3 characters plus 1 null character so 
size of the string will be 4. So, 4 will be substituted by the compiler itself. Next, care name, size name of the string here it is taken as name to itself and size is 6. So, some example here it was smart. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 plus 1. So, 6 number of characters plus 1 null character size will be 6. So, this is how you can assign the string at compile time. So, this is compile time initialization. So, directly we are printing. Printf str1. Here you have he has taken str1 as the name of the string, str2 as the name of the string and name2 is the name of the string here we have taken. So, the same will be printed. And so, we are uh, using even though the data type has character, but you are assigning a string using string and you are assigning this data. So, the format specifier here will be percentile s. It is not percentile c because you are not storing one single character. So, if I use one single character, I can use the format specifier as percentile c. But here you are grouping number of characters, number of characters enclosed in double quotes. So, that is a string. The format specifier you have to use is percentile s. Next, what is the difference between getters and scanf function? So, we have seen scanf is an input function we know. So, scanf percentile decom address of a. So, many we will give input through scanf function. So, what is this getters function? So, in this C programming language, you can read a string value from the user during the program execution. So, we use the following two methods using scanf method and using getters method. Scanf reads a single word whereas getters reads a line, line of text. Using scanf method, we can read only one word of string. We can use percentile as represents the string in scanf and printf methods. So, hash include stdio.h main function char name of 50, the declaration of a string. Printf enter your name, scanf percentile s comma name, printf percentile s comma name. Suppose consider this is my string, enter any string, enter any string or name something suppose if i enter like this hi mlrt students this is my string okay so i am inputting this whatever here i have written through scanf function so if i want to print the data i'll get the output as because scanf function will not consider these white spaces it will stop reading the string whenever a white space is encountered so, you will get the output as and we have used percentile s as the format specifier. Next. So, what is get is? But get is function reads the complete string. It will read the white spaces, everything. So, in the same example, if I have taken this high MLRIT students, I have input this function through the get is function. So, instead of scan f, suppose if I want to, if I replace this line like this, print f enter your name. Get s of what is the name of the string? Name of the string is name. Print f percentile s comma name. So the same. So this is what I will enter here on my screen. So the same I will get the output. Hi MLRIT students. The complete string will be printed. Whatever I have entered because get s reads the complete input. It will read obviously it will. We, we want to read multiple words or line or text. We use this function, predefined function, get as function. So, it will also read the white spaces, whatever the characters you have entered. Complete string will be read by the get as function. So, here the same example, printf entered your name, get as of name. So, whatever we have entered, that complete output, it will display on the screen. So, string handling functions in the C. In the C programming language, there are a set of predefined functions, string handling functions to work with string values. And all the string handling functions like uh, we have seen in dynamic memory allocation. So, we have used some function malloc, realloc, cloc and free. All those functions exist in stdlive.h. Suppose if you want to use any string handling functions, you need to include the header file as string dot h.
So these are some string handling functions str cpy and cpy and str length to calculate the length of the string str cat to concatenate two strings and str ncat if you want to co concatenate only the portion of contents to the first string you can have to use str ncat and if you want to compare any two strings we have str cmp and cmpi ignores the upper uh, compare two strings string one and string two by ignoring the case upper or lower so if you want to convert any string from upper case to lower case you have str lwr from upper case to lower case you have str upr so all these are the predefined functions that exist in string dot h header file we will see some important string handling functions in the next session that's all for this session thank you